You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, here we go with round one, and we will see what Alex Pereira can provide for an encore. As any man or woman in UFC history vaulted to superstardom and the UFC Hall of What a nasty flying knee to the head. Take many of those. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Lands a quick jab. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Just over three minutes to go round one. Bone on bone, nicely done with the high kick. He's looking for that left hand, not there. Uncle Laev's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. You know, a lot of people say those don't land, but even if you block them a little bit, they still put damage on you. Sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, nice body shot. Under two minutes to go. Oh, big left hand. Oh, you gotta keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Blocks the shot. All right, so you see some redness on that calf. Maybe he's starting to slow down a little bit. It looks like he is. Starting to really hurt him. Oh, big hook. That'll sting. Oh, that's my hand. Under a minute to go. Man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent start to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Final seconds of round one. Anka Lyons' nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps, there on the bridge. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, 60 seconds between rounds. That gives us a chance to look at some of the replays from that previous round, including some of the damage sustained on his nose. Yeah, it was a, it was a nice shot that landed that opened up that cut on the nose. Granted, any cut is bad, Ready. but this one is Ready. in a spot where Good. it shouldn't affect him too much. What we have to watch, though, John, is if the nose is broken. Right. Then it's hard for him to breathe. Yeah, get the blood in that nasal cavity, potentially trickles down the throat a little bit. I mean, fighting just sounds like a really fun <laughs> career. <laughs> Let's get to the next round. Right on the button. Ooh, big shot, man. Let him go. Time to let those hands go. Fighter blocks the punch. Great punch landed with so much power. He missed with that jab attempt there. Leg kicks all day. His mobility is compromised. 
might get it back a little bit as the fight continues, but that's an obvious move right now. Well, it's going to take ice on the calf, ice on the thigh when he gets to the corner to try and... Oh! You heard him real bad. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Ankalaev's blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the goal. Now to go in the round. Thirty seconds to go in round two. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. That's the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change, making Blinken go low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. All right, round three coming up next. Well, the crowd's appreciating the action here. Both fighters getting knocked down in that round, and when you're talking about bonus money in a fight of the night, oftentimes you need that back-and-forth action. We certainly had it in that round. It takes two to tango, and these two just danced all over the octagon floor. On their back, on their feet, they did a fantastic job of giving the fans a great show through this round. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, an appreciative capacity crowd on it. There, somehow, his opponent stayed up right. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up that much. Nice counter left there. That knee, that knee hurt him. Well, that overhand big weapon form throughout his career, it's been there all night. Look for him to go back to it here. Oh! Trying to recover, but he's in a lot of trouble. Strong outside leg kick. Big right hand there. Oh, knee strike right to the bottom. on the right hand. Ankalaev's been dealing with that cut on his nose for a while, and now it is just pouring blood. Under three minutes. He's got to hurt. He's got to start looking to finish. Oh, these ground strikes are just brutal. And he's back up. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. And that one certainly found the target. And yet another hook landed there by Agamemnon. Oh. That's it. That'll do it. Alex Pereira has done it again. What a performance.
All right, now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 56 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of 